This is the upperclassman Jefferson James, and you are listening to Shooting Up North in the Edition, hosted by Lewis Carlin. Hello and welcome to Shooting Up North Indie Edition. I'm your host, Lewis Carlin. Very excited today. I have a gentleman coming on the show that has the chance to become the next Eisen Pro Wrestling Champion. I'm talking about upperclassman Jefferson James. Jefferson, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me, Lewis. It's a pleasure. Hey, the pleasure's all mine. The pleasure's all mine. So I just want to say uh, those sunglasses look really sharp on you, man, and I know they were very expensive. Just curious at how much those sunglasses cost, because uh, you mentioned that they cost more than most people's monthly rent. Uh, so I was just trying to, I was just trying to figure out how much those those gorgeous sunglasses cost you, man. But, well, I um, mean, it's just my parents. Like, I'm the only son, pretty much. You know what I mean? In the James family, yeah. I am looked at as the higher up. So of course I can get what I want, whether it's the Versace's, the Letterman jacket. I can get anything and everything that I want, Lewis. And um, for anyone who boos me or gets my name wrong, they're just unfortunate. Plain and simple. Okay. Well, there you go. There you go. And speaking of getting your name wrong, I I, I was going to mention it a little later, uh, but since you brought it up, uh, maybe we'll go right to it. Uh, what? Madison Miles actually cut a promo and she cut your name wrong. She got your name wrong, and you seemed a little bit upset at that. Do you have a your message that you want to pass on to? To Madison Miles for, for for getting your name wrong. I know she called you Jeff. It's Jefferson, and I'll make sure I'll get it right. But um, anything you want to say to Madison Miles uh, about getting your name wrong? Well, since nothing has happened, and I'm not the fifth entrant into the main event. Madison Miles is going to get punched in the face by yours truly, because nobody gets my name wrong, not her or those idiots in Dartmouth, Nova Scotia. So I'm going to say it one more time. It's Jefferson, and don't you forget it. Okay, I, I definitely will not forget it, Jefferson. Uh, so, you better not. So for, okay, I, I, I won't. You, you have my word on that. I, so, far, um, so, far, so far, I kind of like you. So if we can okay. keep it that way, we'll be good. Okay, there you go. Okay, well, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll do my best. That's all I can say is I'll, I'll, do, my, I'll do my best uh, to, keep you, uh, to keep you happy. How about that? Is, that? is that fair enough? You better. Okay, I, I, I'll, I'll try. I'll try, man. So, so anyone can do it. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it. But let, let's move on. Let's move on. Um, so, for anyone that might not be familiar with you, I know you're based uh, in the Maritimes. You're originally from from Toronto, Ontario. Uh, so, Correct. why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? I know we talked a little bit about um, about your sunglasses, but tell us a little bit about yourself and and what um, Jefferson James is all about. Well, pretty much growing up in Toronto, Ontario, in a beautiful white mansion, um, I was pretty much like everything based on my athletic ability, my intelligence, and work ethic. So every year, like I pretty much got like high honors in every course, every every subject in school. So overall, like I was a pretty intelligent kid. Um, but I also did did very well in, in soccer, basketball, baseball, any sport you name. I did it and excelled into it to my expectations. And that's pretty much who Jefferson is. And also, too, it doesn't matter what happens. No matter what, I win. So okay. that pretty much speaks for itself right there. All of my, all of my accomplishments, the rest is history from there. Hey, you know, all due respect, though, you just say no matter, no matter what you do, you win. You didn't uh, win last night. Yeah, you, you lost. Uh, you, you lost to uh, Mia Malik last night. You had a shot at the UCW Atlantic Canadian Championship, and excuse you, me? you lost. You, you, you lost. I didn't a, lose. You lost I the match. No, yeah, you, 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 you got you, lucky. You, There's a difference, Lewis. She got lucky. She didn't beat me. She got lucky. I wasn't 100 percent ready. My hair was messed up. I couldn't really. I wasn't fully awake. No. She got lucky. If I was 110% on my game, I would have had that title right in my hands within two minutes. You saw that match, didn't you? Oh, I dominated her. I, I cakewalked all over her. And then all of a sudden, she grabbed me, and 
and then pin me out of nowhere. So the referee was blind. I kicked out. That's not true at all. Okay. Well, I I, I spoke to Mia last night. She uh, uh, she let me. That's not really. I don't think that's how it went. But uh, what? Yeah. She, uh, she she got a victory over you. And and let me ask. Let me ask you this, Jefferson. Let me ask you this. Why weren't you one hundred percent ready? I mean, you you knew this match was coming, right? Well, why weren't you one hundred percent ready? Like I told you, Bruce, I I was tired. Like I didn't get my full eight hours of sleep. So how how am I gonna go in there one hundred percent? Even then, I still dominated her. So despite the result, the actions speak louder than words and what's online. So realistically, I'm the champion without holding the championship. Does that make sense? No. I'm the one standing over top of her, beating her. Yeah, but but when all said when 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 all was said and done, Jefferson, yeah, the her her hand was raised in victory. So she she was the she was the winner of the match. I I don't want to I don't want to argue it, uh, over it, but it was um, a fluke. Bottom line is uh, she successfully defended her title against you, and and maybe you'll get a rematch in the um in in the future. Is 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 that up? Uh, are you gonna ask for a rematch or are you gonna? Oh, you know, I think demand a rematch. rematch. I demand a rematch. I am talking to my parents right now, and they are gonna deal with UCW management in order for me to get my rematch. I don't know when. But I can guarantee you this. I am going to get it, and I'm going to take what's rightfully mine, and that is the UCW Atlantic Canadian Championship, and there's no denying that. Okay, speaking of your parents, speaking of your parents, they um, is it true that they own the Halifax Convention Center and they have stock in every maritime pro wrestling promotion? Is that is that true? Yes, it is. Now, okay, that, that said, since you came out and said it, do, do you think as a pro wrestler in the Maritimes, that you clearly have an unfair advantage over everybody else if if your parents have stock in every single maritime wrestling promotion? Is that is that a fair statement? Absolutely not. You see, with them owning stock in every promotion, that means I am guaranteed a match and every opportunity that I deserve. Last year, when I was just a boy pretending to be something that I wasn't and liking all the fans, I didn't get anything that I wanted. But until I revealed my true colors and my, my, made my parents proud, that's when everything started happening for me. And because of them, I'm on top of the game, baby. So no, it's not an unfair advantage. It is totally fair. Okay. All right. There we go. So so let's go back to the beginning. I know um, you mentioned in school you were in sports. When did you decide that you want to pursue pro wrestling as a profession? And, um, and were you always a fan of pro wrestling as well? Well, I didn't start watching pro wrestling until I was nine years old, and the first match I ever watched was Jeff Hardy versus Mr. Kendi. And uh, the second I saw Jeff Hardy, I thought, this guy's an idiot. He wants to go to the top rope, do all these flips, and risk his life? <laughs> I can do better than that. All I simply have to do is kick someone in the nuts and pin them when the referee isn't looking. So I thought, I can do it easily, and much better than Jeff Hardy. So yeah, I was a wrestling fan growing up. And since then, I wanted to do it, and here I am now, so, so fulfilling my destiny. So, so, so you you feel that you're a much better wrestler than than Jeff Hardy? That absolutely. That okay. I feel I'm a much better wrestler than everyone in WWE and across the across the world. Lewis, do you know that I'm an elite athlete? I, I did not know that, but thank you for letting me filling me in on that. Okay, you're an elite athlete. Okay. You're damn right. So, okay. All right. You're, you. Were, I thought you were going to say something else there, but I'm sorry. Um, you're okay. Well, I'll make sure I remember that you're an elite athlete. So I'm okay. thinking that some of your favorites. You know, you must have been a fan of of Mr. Perfect or, or the Million Dollar Man, Teddy Biasi. Um, because I Absolutely. think they have those are guys that I can resonate with based on their skill, athletic ability, and intelligence. Oh, and most importantly, their money. Teddy Biasi is the Million Dollar Man for a reason. So that was a man that I looked up to growing up and that I wanted to be like. Mr. Perfect had skill that no one, no other man could put, could try and contest to. And that is exactly why I emulate Mr. Perfect. Um, but currently right now, Randy Orton is my favorite. The guy has everything, charisma, in-ring skill, aggression. And that's who I watch right now. And and is currently my favorite wrestler. Okay. That, that's Fair enough, fair enough. 
So, so where did you train? Um, did did your um, did your parents so did they rent a huge um, pro wrestling academy where you could train by yourself, or uh, did you did you train with by Louis? myself? Even though I could teach myself pro wrestling, Lewis, no, I went to a high class trainer and got private sessions by him. Because I knew if if any, if I did a full class, sorry, there's just an idiot driving around in a street bike in the background. Bear with me. Okay, he's gone. We're good. Um, yeah, yeah, back to what I was saying. Yeah, I paid a high-class trainer to come all, all the way down to Toronto, Ontario to teach me his skills and what he has. Because, let's face it, if I was in a class, I would outshine everyone in that class. I would embarrass them and make them quit. So I didn't want to do that to anyone. So when I did private classes, I was told that I am the number one student that that man has ever had. So with that being said, it, it, it shows. My skills show in the ring. I am better than everyone. Oh, don't, don't take this the wrong way, but I think you, they, you, your skills came up a little short last night against uh, me and Are we, we going to go back to this, Lewis? I already said to you it was a fluke. She got lucky. Okay, no, I, no, I got you. I got you. Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to go back to that. You're right. I should have. Um, I should have um, jumped back to that. But I uh, just, just trying to just make a little point there. Uh, but, but, like you said, you get anything you want through your parents. You know, through your parents' money uh, is, is what you had said. I see that on your social media. Is this, is this something you're always going to want to use to your advantage, or do you want to try to maybe? Maybe one day try to earn thing something on your own, or are you just going to keep using your parents' money to 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 get what you need? Lewis, their money is life lasting. So with their money right now, whether they leave it with me or they leave me behind with their money, I don't need them. All I need to do is step in the ring and show what I can do, plain and simple, and they're happy. So I'm er I'm earning my stripes to them. I'm earning to them that I'm worthy. I am the only son, and they can't replace me. So with that being said, I'm going to use their money to get what I want. Plain and simple. Nothing's going to yeah, well, change. Well, well, actually, let me, let me ask you. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I read somewhere. Um, I can't find uh, the, the, um, the message here. But you, you have a very nice car. Now, tell me about the car that you have. I believe it's blue. I forgot what type of car it is. But um, was that something that you got with your parents' money as well? Absolutely. That was a gift for gra from graduating high school. And since then, that car has last, lasted me about four or five years now. Subaru WRX STI with the turbo engine. Can't go wrong mm -hmm. there, man. Beautiful interior. Yeah, if you saw it, man, you'd be mesmerized by, by how beautiful it is. Hell, it's more yeah, beautiful right. than everyone in the maritime wrestling scene. Or sorry, not not everybody, because Charlie Hubley is a very beautiful man. Um, but okay. every maritime fan is what I meant to say. So, so do you have any respects for the fans at all, or, or no? They never respected me, so why would I respect them, Lewis? They don't show me any appreciation oh. or admiration for what I do. Well, I mean, no. they are paying tickets. They are, oh, they are, they are paying, they are paying their hard-earned money to come to watch you, um, you know, to watch you wrestle. But uh, maybe you should show a little appreciation because they are, they are spending so many to come watch you. They need to start. You know? They need to start calling me by Jefferson, not Jeff. So. Until, okay. until they start oh, doing they, that, they're, that's they're calling you by the, I will respect. Oh, they're calling you by the wrong name as well. They're not calling you Jefferson. They're calling you. I'm not going to say the name, but they're not. They're, they're calling you the abbreviation of Jefferson. They're not calling you. Okay. Okay. Absolutely. I, I, why, why, do you, why do you hate? Why do you hate being called? Why do you hate being called? Oh, I don't want to say it, but why do you hate being called uh, the abbreviation of Jefferson so much? Because it's, it's not my name. I was born as Jefferson Hughes James. Okay. Not not Jeff James, Jefferson James. So okay. why why would why would I be why would I want to be called the abbreviation of it? No, call me by my full name, plain and simple. Okay. That's what I want. Fair enough. That's what there I'll get. Go. No, I just I'm just curious. Okay, so so let's let's move along. Let's move along, if if uh, if that's okay. Um, now, at the last uh, Kaizen Pro Wrestling show, 
uh, you faced another young talent, uh, Sam Shields. I didn't see the show yet. It's, it's not up on um, IWTV. Uh, but from what I was reading, I believe he was introduced and then you came out and interfered and, and a match uh, took place and which you were victorious. But he says he looks forward to another match with you. He can't wait for the rematch. Uh, what are your feelings uh-huh. about that? And how do you feel about Sam Shields? Okay, so to tell you what happened, no, I didn't interfere, inter- interfere in a match. Dave Boyce was giving that guy credit for doing doing all the grunt work, you know, cleaning the ring, so on and so forth. And then I came out. I told Dave to get out of my ring because it was my moment. And that's when Jefferson James was introduced in the maritime wrestling scene. So I didn't have a match, even though my parents already gave me a match. And um, there was only one person that was around that needed that match, and that was Sam Shields. So what I did was give him a little beatdown to, to show him what professional wrestling was like. And now, I will I will give him credit. He did hang in there with me. He gave me a fight, but he quite didn't get the victory. But if he wants a rematch, it's a rematch he will get. Plain okay. No, I mean, I know he wants a rematch. He, he does have a lot of respect for you, uh, but... Um... He uh, he said uh, he definitely wants to rematch against you, and hopefully that rematch will, will take place uh, will take place soon. All right, so but at the next Kaizen show, you have an opportunity to win the Kaizen Pro Wrestling title, but to do so, you're going to have to win twice. And I know you're not happy about this, and, and I'll, I'll ask you about that. Oh. Um, but you're involved in a, in a four-way match against Madison Miles, who we, who we spoke about earlier, Chip Chambers and Chantel, and and. You'll be entered into the main event if you win that match against Kobe Christ, Titus, J.P. Sims, and Kimba. Uh, so how are you preparing for this? Because you, you might have a long night ahead of you. Lewis, it's a catastrophe that, I'm, that I have to advance in order to get into the main event. I should already be in the main event. After coming off a big win against Sam Shields, it's obvious that I should be the contender for the championship. None of those competitors matter. I am the one. It shows up, puts in the work, all for my parents. So, you want to know how I'm pre- preparing for this? I'm training in the gym five days a week. Lifting very heavy weights so that I can throw anyone around. I'm running on the streets every single day, late at night. And I don't know, I don't know about the other competitors, but I don't think they're ready for Jefferson. I don't think they have what it takes to hang with me. And that's just plain and simple. So, uh, all, all fatal boring respect. All due respect. So, if I have... Go ahead. Well, then, all due respect, Jefferson. All due respect. You said that you defeated Sam Shields and you deserve to be in the town. Sam, this was Sam Shields' first match ever. How, it how doesn't does a matter. Victory over, no, but how does a victory over someone who's had their... It was in their debut match earn you a shot to be uh, to be wrestling for a... For a the Kaizen Pro Wrestling Championship. That doesn't make sense. I'm sorry. That doesn't make sense. No, I left an exclamation point by beating Sam Shields. Those people remembered my name after I beat him. And all of a sudden, I'm not I'm not okay. put in the main event. No, I have been busting my ass for this opportunity. And I have to work even harder to get to there? <laughs> it's a joke. Uh, it's a catastrophe are you, for that you say you... <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm laughing, but you see, you say you're busting your ass, but but you said that you're getting where you are because of your parents' money. So you're not really busting your ass; you're just getting to where you are because what? of your parents' money. So, well, yeah, no, I'm sorry. I have to be, I have to be. I I, I need to say that, man. I'm sorry, but uh, no, I'll go ahead. Say what you gotta say. You know, okay. Lewis, I'm becoming this close to starting to dislike you. I'm sorry, man, but I'm just trying to uh, I'm trying to listen to the interview, and I, I have to call it like it is right now. And so, I I don't, I don't want you to not like me, but uh, do, you, do you want to do you want to answer that question, or should we should we move on? We should absolutely like, move on. Should absolutely move on. Okay. So, so say you do um get past Miles, Chip Chambers, and Chantel, um, Kobe Christ, Titus, J.P. Sims. Those are some some tough guys, yeah. And you're gonna be oh, you already have guys. one match under your belt. So how 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 would you um? Let me ask you this: What are your thoughts on Kobe Christ, Titus, uh, J.P. Sims, and Kimba? How, how do you feel about those guys? There is no doubt in my mind they are all fantastic competitors, but they are not the upperclassmen Jefferson James. They don't have the advantage like I do. See, like I said, 
I do bust my ass. I do use my parents' money. But when you put the put the two together, you just get one big recipe for success. And I'm going to use that recipe in order to beat the four competitor competitors. That's if I do beat Chantel, Chip, and Madison, which I am. There is no denying that at all. So it's just plain and simple, Lewis. I'm just going to show up. So, I'm going so, to use my brains, and I'm going to beat them. So you're you're predicting that you're going to be the next, uh, well, not the next, uh, the first Kaizen the Pro Wrestling Champion. Kaizen Pro Wrestling Champion. Okay. Yes. All right. Well, we'll see. I I, I I disagree. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, champ. I disagree. But um, well, Lewis, how it's... dare you disagree? How dare you? No, I... Uh, I um I I pick Kobe to win it all. That that that's my prediction right there. I, I apologize about that, Jeff. No but, no no uh, no no. I, uh, you picked the upperclassman Jefferson James Lewis, not Kobe Christ. Me. I I I'm sorry, but I I I have to go with I have to go with Kobe. I I I, I don't want to get you upset, but that's that's the guy I'm picking. That's the guy I'm picking. You're making so, a big um, mistake, Lewis. You're making a huge okay. mistake. Well, I I I'm kind of feel I feel. That I feel kind of safe right now that we're on the phone and we're not face to face. I think I might be a little nervous right now if we go face to face because I, I have a feeling oh, I'm going to irritate you. I am definitely going to have a long long conversation with you. There's no denying that. Okay, and look, I look forward to it. we could do a live interview then. I, we'll we'll have to be um we'll have to uh I'll I'll have to be um, a good I'll, distance. Away. I'll I'll do a live interview with you if you're six feet apart. I do not trust you right now. Well, I was going to say, I, I need to be about uh, 12 feet away from you. So in case you get upset, I have at least uh, a chance, a chance, to flee, a chance to flee, a chance to flee, a chance to flee. So, uh, but um, yeah, I, I don't want to get you upset, Jeff, but uh, let's. Um, what did you just call me? Uh, oh, Jesus. I'm sorry. I mean, Jefferson, Jefferson. I, I'm sorry. I, I mean, Jefferson. That slipped. I slipped. I apologize. Oh, my gosh. I'm sorry. Better be sorry. I mean, yeah, no, no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You that, better stick that to me. Slipped. Sorry. That kind of stuff. And remember, it's 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 not Lou. It's Lewis. Okay, you can't call me Lou. I, I want to be called Lewis. So, just um. That sounds good just, to me. Just Lewis. Re you remember that, okay, Jefferson? All right. So let's, you don't tell uh, me what to do. Do I work for you, Lewis? No, I work for my parents. So don't boss me around again. All, all, all due respect, Jefferson, but do do I work for you? Do I work for you, sir? No. Okay, you know what? I think things are getting a little out of hand. Let, let's move on. I, I, let's stop. I don't want things to get out of hand because uh, I think you're a you're a you're a decent talent, and uh, I think you have a you have a fairly good shot at winning the Kaizen Pro Wrestling title. So let's, decent. Let, let's. I am an amazing talent, Lewis. Get that right. Okay, you you you're at a you're a quote unquote amazing talent. There is that is that good? Thank. You. Is that cool? Thank. You. Okay, there you go. That's magnificent. Go. So so. So let's let's move along here. Let's move along. So you you posted a video stating that um, that uh, you're in the four way qualifier and it's not fair. I know we were talking about why it's not fair, but you posted that video. And um, but why do why do you have to call your mother? Your mom's in Italy. Why why do you why do you have to? Um, your mom's on a she's on vacation right now. She lives in Italy. I'm sorry. What, let's does she live in Italy or she's on vacation right now? No, she's on a she's on a long vacation in Italy and she won't be back okay. until January. Okay, so you called your mother. Like, like is she gonna do yep. anything to get anything changed? I mean, I mean, you you, you gave your mother a call, but is she gonna get anything changed, or is it everything gonna still be uh, the 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 way it is at Kaizen Pro Wrestling? Well, by the way things are looking, I guess I have to fight Madison Miles, Chantel, and Chip. So nothing changed, unfortunately. So it, it kind of it sucks for me big time because I would like to be in the main event right away. However, it sucks for all three of them. Because I'm just going in there and simply punching all of them straight in the face. So, yeah, I guess I'm just going to have to suck it up, do it, and then move well, on to the main event. All, all, due, res all, all, all due respect, but I, I think if you try to punch Chantel in the face, I think she's going to punch you right back in the face. So just just, just be aware Good. of that. Uh, Good. If she, if she hits me, I'll hit her even harder. I don't care. Okay. She could try. She's going to fail. All right. Well, like I said, I'm sticking with my pick, uh, Kobe Christ. You know, and I'm even gonna say, I, I, uh, 
I'm you no. Know, I'm gonna say this. I think you're you're gonna. I think you're gonna win that match. I think you're gonna win the four way match, and you're gonna get to the finals. But I, I unfortunately, I'm sticking with Kobe Christ. That's good. That's gonna be my pick there. But I do think you're gonna win uh, that uh, the four way match to get to the. Um, and hopefully they'll they'll give you enough time to uh, to recover. Hopefully it's the first match and the main event will be the last match. And you'll have time to to recover. But I do believe that you will be getting to the final match. Lewis, you don't I have to, to you stretch. Don't... I have to do a copious amount of squats to get ready for the main event. So they better give me my rest or else we're going to have serious problems. Okay, All right, there you go. Well, I look forward to that. Look forward to that match. So I think I know the answer to this question. Uh, I think I know how you're going to answer, I should say. Uh, my my question was, uh, who, who do you think is the best wrestler in the Maritimes? But I think I think you think that you're the best wrestler in the Maritimes right now. It's no secret that I think I'm the best wrestler in the Maritimes. And aside from your pick to win the Kaizen Pro Wrestling Championship, I would have to go with Kobe Christ. That guy can move in the ring and use his brains like no other man besides myself. So I will definitely have to pick Kobe Christ. Based on his skill, okay, no, I he's accomplished, and what he has done in the maritime wrestling scene. I, 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 you know, I think we're finally agreeing on something, and I think that's a good, that's a, that's 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 a good thing. Well, uh, we're, we're make, I we're just don't think he's going to win the championship. I don't think he's going to win. I think it's going to be me, plain and simple. Okay, well, no, I do think that Kobe Christ is is one of the best wrestlers in the world. So, so like I said, I, I do agree with you on that. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, uh, if, if, if you, you can't beat me and Malik, my, Malik, I don't think you're going to beat Kobe Christ. There you go. So we'll leave Oh, that oh, really? We're going to go there again, Lewis, for the third time? Well, no, I, I like Mia. I like Mia a lot. And, uh, she Mention was on the that. show. Not and... once, not twice, but three times. No, she well, didn't actually, beat me. It was a fluke. No, no I, I actually, no. I, I'm I'm a big fan. I like Mia. I don't. Um, she I was fun her. to talk to. Yeah, I was gonna ask because I don't think I asked you what what your actual thoughts on her is, but you but you don't like her at all. You don't like poor uh, no. poor Mia, even though she uh, and I'll say this again, even though she uh, <laughs> retained the title last night against you. Okay. She's a cheater. When she had me in that headlock, she pulled my hair, and then when she pinned okay. me, it was false. No matter how you see okay. it, it, I know for a fact it was false. Okay. I'm, well, I'm sure you get another shot. I'm sure you get another shot. Uh, at better. Her, as I said. But anyway, so um, what's what's the main goal? What is your main goal for you in the world of professional wrestling? I mean, do you want to eventually leave the maritime team and go elsewhere? Uh, but what's 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 the, the ultimate goal for Jefferson James? Well, I definitely want to build my name here more in the Maritimes because I'm already doing good at that. Um. But but for sure, like I would like to expand elsewhere, like whether it's across the United States. Ontario is definitely like my number one goal right now, because there's a lot of good guys that I can wrestle down there. Um, the likes of Holden Albright, uh, Gabriel, Gabriel Ferreza, Alexi Nicole, pretty much anyone on, on Seaway Valley or Crossbody. I will I would love to tangle with them and have a good match. You mentioned Holden Albright. I I would be careful because Holden Albright is is one of my favorites. I think Holden Albright would um I think he uh he'd be a, he'd be a tough opponent for you, man. I I I think it would be a great match, but uh, he he'd be a very very tough opponent for you. I, I love Holden Albright. And hopefully that match will will take place one day. And you mentioned Seaway Valley Wrestling. Uh, I know um uh, that uh, Al Commissioner Al I I, I from from Facebook. Oh, wow. It seems like he's a fan of yours, so maybe uh, maybe you'll be showing up there one day as well. That's what I'm hoping. I like what he's doing. He has a very great product. He draws good houses. I would love to show up to yeah. Corn- Cornwall just to fight whoever he has. I mean, it could be Holden Albright. You never know. Uh, that would be uh, that would be a good match. Alexi Nicole, that would be interesting. I am a fan of Alexi Nicole as well. Uh, do you think uh, she would have a chance against uh, Jefferson James? I think she would give me a fair fight, but I don't think she would have a chance of beating me. Absolutely not. Okay. Well, what about, uh, like, um, do, you, do you watch wrestling? Do you watch WWE? Do you watch Impact? Uh, do you watch Japan? Is Japan maybe a goal? Uh, but what, uh, um, what what products are you watching right now? I'm definitely watching WWE and Impact Wrestling, but more so Impact because I like what they're doing. 
you know, they have a lot, of, they have an amazing roster, in my opinion, of guys like who aren't really given a chance in WWE, but now are given that chance in Impact Wrestling. So there are a lot of guys there that I would love to like share the ring with, the likes of uh, Heath or uh, Heath Slater in WWE, Rhino, um, Eddie Edwards, Eric Young, Rich Swan, um, anyone, or uh, both Motor City Machine Guns. That roster is bar none probably the best that I've seen like in this generation, for sure. No, you know, and I'm gonna agree with you again. I'm a big uh, Impact Wrestling fan. I love Impact Wrestling. Uh, Bound for Glory was was last night. It was, it was a very good show. Uh, Glam the North to regain the titles. Uh, big fan of the North. Uh, but yeah, they're doing some great things right now. And I, I think you know what I'm gonna say is Jefferson. I think you would fit in. You would fit in nicely with Impact Wrestling. So I I I, th- I think you if if you if you just try to maybe earn your spot instead of trying to buy it, I think you could get to, to Impact Wrestling, and uh, you could um, I think you could be uh, you could do well there actually. Now I'm starting to kind of like you again. Thank you. Okay. All right. Yeah. No. I think uh, I think you would fit in nicely there. Uh, cutting promos. You seem to have the, the gift for cutting promos as well. Your uh, was that something that came naturally, or was it something you had to work on? Um, it was definitely something that I had to work on because when I was the freshman Jeff James or just Jeff, what whatever I went by back then, I felt like I had to try and get people to like me. But now that I can finally be myself, I could say and do whatever I want. So um, promos are very natural to me now. But when I was the boy, no, they weren't, not at all. All right. And um, do you prefer being a heel? I know you used to be a in your your past wrestling life, I'm not going to mention the name because I know you don't like to hear that name. But uh, in your previous wrestling life, compared to now, do you prefer being a heel or do you prefer being uh, the baby face? I I love being the heel. There okay. there's just nothing more exciting than getting getting people to hate me. You know what I mean? The second I come out, I can just show my true feelings to them, and um, it's great. Because generally, I'm not really an outgoing guy. Like I don't like talking to a whole lot of people. But the way I talk is pretty much how I am, you know? The way I talk in the ring is pretty much how I am outside the ring. So for me to do that, it's even more exciting. All right. So yeah, that, no, I, I, I love being a heel. No doubt. Yeah, no, you, you're, I, think you're a, I think you're a very good heel. I think you're a very good heel. Uh, you, you're doing you. a good job. Uh, you've insulted me quite a bit, which was... Uh, which is okay, you know. I let it go. It's it's we're we're doing a show, but hey, no, you're, you you're doing a good it, job. You deserved it, though. Okay, if if you feel I deserved it, then then yeah, I'm not gonna argue with uh, the upper class when Jefferson James. I guess I deserved it. No, then. that would be a bad uh, but idea. Another, there's another guy that yeah, I I want you to like me. That's why I'm 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 I'm, I'm giving in here. I, I want you to like me. I don't want you not to like me because hey, down the road I'd I'd like to have you come back on the show and hopefully uh you, you'll like me enough they want to come back on the show one day. I think I tolerate you enough to do that. Okay. All right. I mean, and, and if you have your mom's money, if you want to throw some of that money, I might have a fee, and I'm sure you'll be you'll be more than happy to pay that fee as well. So, but we'll... we'll, we'll, we'll will, um, what? Louis, <laughs> so do you know who I am? I can get into anything, I'm, I'm, any I'm building joking. that I want. I'm just joking. Any nightclub I go to, they know who I am. Okay. Okay. You better. I'm not. I got just a joke. I'm just joking. I, I actually took a shot there and it didn't work. So, but uh, yeah, no, I, I'm no. I'm just joking. So, uh, yeah, anytime you want to come back, maybe I should be paying you actually to come on my show. So, how, how about that? Is that exactly. that cool? There you go. So, another 100%. guy that I think you, 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 I'm not sure if you had a match with him yet. Uh, you might have, um, uh-huh. as Jefferson James, and I think would be a great match. You against Charlie Hubley, I think would be a a fantastic match. Has that match oh, happened yet, or is Charlie it, Hubley? Um, or is it? Uh, yeah, I, I faced up, him a lot. I faced him a lot last year, and every single time we faced each other, I lost because I was dumb and naive. But I think me and him could go tit for tat, and it'd be even. Um, honestly, I think we can we can fight until we we go to a draw. Now, now that I can show my my strategicness, and um, yeah, Charlie Hubley is some someone that I would definitely love to fight in the ring. No doubt, the greatest of all time versus the upperclassmen could be an interesting uh, collision. 
All right. Is there anybody out there? Do you have a dream match in mind that uh, one day you oh, hope uh, is there someone you would like to step in the ring with? I'd love personally since since you've insulted Jeff Hardy, I'd like to see you step in the ring with Jeff Hardy now. See how that goes. But is there anybody else out there that uh, you would love to one day step in the ring with? Hmm. That's actually a really good question. Um, there's a lot of people actually, but if there's one I can name, I would definitely have to say uh, John Cena. You know, okay. he's the top guy. Um, he's been the top guy for so many years. I would just love to have a fight with him and just literally punch him in the face to show him that I'm better than him, plain and simple. Okay. You like uh, to you like to punch people right in the face, don't you? I you, do. you, you, you said that a lot. It's my favorite thing to do. Okay. Just uh, can can you make a promise to me if we ever do meet that you won't punch me in the face? Because I'm a little older than you, I'd probably get I'd probably fall into a coma or something. Well, see, Lewis, you're not a trained professional, so I can't punch you in the face. Okay. Uh, so you're right. safe. You're safe. Right, thank you. I, if I, I yell at you, that. that's just the furthest I'll go with you. Other than that, no, I won't touch you. Okay. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. So so one more question, and then uh, we can wrap it up, if, that, if that's okay. That's cool. So, um, Sounds good to me. Where do you see yourself in five years from now? Where, where, where is the, the upperclassman Jefferson James uh, going to be? In, in, in five years, in, or where do you hope to be in five years? In five years, I see myself traveling the world, whether it's the UK, Japan, Italy, where my parents are, um, just wrestling, you know what I mean? Just going in there, showing who I am to the world so that they remember my name forever. Okay, that, that that's it. That, that's that that's it uh, no i want to be wwe champion i want to be impact champion uh, i want to be new i want to be the um, the iwg well, champion see, Lewis, every, every, everybody says that right but yeah, i just want to go in that's there and show that i am the man that i am a champion no matter no matter what title i hold no matter what i do i'm just a champion plain and simple i am my own champion okay, well i'm my parents champion and that's all that matters to well, me Okay, well, I, I have no doubt that you're going to be very, very successful uh, in your career. I think you know, you're doing a great job right now. Uh, I know we disagree on, on who we think is going to be the next, um, or I should say, the, again, the first Kaizen Pro Wrestling Champion. Uh, you obviously think it's going to be you. I think it's going to be Kobe. But then we'll see. You know, it, if, if you win, I won't be surprised. I won't be surprised at all. But um, it was an absolute pleasure having you on today, uh, Jeff. Uh, Jesus, Jefferson, of, Jefferson, of course, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry Jefferson, 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 Jefferson. Did I said you say Jefferson. Jeff? No, nope, I said lucky. Jefferson. I said Jefferson. Oh no! I I I, oh, no. I promise said I said Jeff. Jefferson. Did you so, you it, said Jeff. I know you did. No, nope. no, I didn't. I said Jefferson. Okay, I did say Jeff. I'm, I'm, I did say it. I apologize. It's Jefferson. If you, if you, Anybody if listening you out there right now? If you said it's Jefferson, then I would have believed you. Well, guess what? I'm even more mad at you now. So. Okay. Move on. Well, I just want, I just want to say, to everybody listening out there right now, please, it's Jefferson James. Fans at the shows. Taxi drivers, you know, if you're going into, if you're ordering something from a restaurant, anybody listening, it's Jefferson. Do not call him, I'm not going to say it, but don't call him uh, J-E-F-F. It's Jefferson James, okay? Anybody listening, please thank don't you. make that mistake. You're welcome. I just, uh, there you go. Well, I want to thank you so much for joining me today. It was an absolute pleasure having you on. Uh, and um, I hope uh, one day you could find it in your heart to, to come back and maybe we can have another conversation. Absolutely. I would love to. Okay, and I would love to have you, and and best of luck in in the match. Uh, not uh, you're not gonna need it. I think you're gonna win, like I said, the four way match. But but best of luck, best of luck in the uh, in your upcoming okay. match, uh, Kaizen Pro Wrestling. Now, is there anything else coming up? Do you have any other shows you want to plug, or maybe some merchandise you want to plug before you go? Um, no merchandise right now because it's just currently in the works. But um, I believe I have a show on November 24th at the Spryfield Lions Rink for UCW, which is actually headlined by me, where I pre I am pre premiering in. Sorry. Okay. One second. One second. Give me a minute. It's okay, my own take, show. I should know this already. Take take two minutes. It's okay. Two minutes. That's what I get. You get as long as you have, as long as you want. Okay, you get as long as you want. Take your time. Sorry, I got the date wrong. November twenty eighth, Jefferson James in top of the class. That's a show, right after Kaiser okay. Pro Wrestling. 
And I also have a show up in up in the Reserve Mines Fire Hall in Cape Breton, Nova Scotia for East Coast Pro Wrestling on November 14th. Okay, fantastic. That. Looking, I'm sure you're looking forward to that. And I, I kind of wish I was a little closer so I could actually go to the shows. Uh, but um, are they going to be on YouTube at all that will be able to see them? Or, or any, um, anywhere, stream anywhere? Both the UCW and ECPW uh, shows will be on um, Team New Scott um, on, on his YouTube channel. Okay. Uh, they also premiere on Facebook Live as well on both of their pages. You can find uh, UCW on UCW Pro Wrestling and um, the ECPW one on uh, East Coast Pro Wrestling on Facebook as well. Um, but other than that, I'm not sure what other social media platforms they are using besides uh, Facebook and um, I think Instagram too. Well, couldn't, couldn't you get your mother to uh, to um, maybe create her her own streaming platform where they could show just Jefferson James matches? Maybe that that that's a good idea. You, you think? know you know what you know what Lewis? I think we're gonna we're starting to be on the same page. That's actually a pretty good idea. I'll have yeah. to call my mother right now right now or so maybe in about well, ten minutes. I don't know. So so that's since that's my idea. Do I would I benefit financially and all on that or or no? You might. You okay. might. I'll consider it. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Well, again, Jefferson, thank you so much for joining me today. It was it was it was a pleasure having you on. And uh, seriously, let's let's do the let's do this again uh, down the road if, if that's cool. I would absolutely love to, Lewis. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Don't call me. Wait, 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 wait. Sorry, sorry. I forgot to do one more thing. You can okay. follow me on Twitter on at you at the UPCM JJ. Same with my Instagram. And on Facebook, all you have to do is look up Jefferson James, press the like button, and you can see anything that I do and say. Okay. Uh, I can go ahead. Yeah, I'm glad you got that in. That that actually is a uh, pretty important. So I'll let me let me close the show. Uh, so thank you very much for listening to Shooting Up North in the edition. I'm your host Lewis Carlin. Again, want to thank my guest, the upperclassman Je- Je- Jefferson James. And um, un- until next time, I almost said it. Until next time, thank you very much. Take care. Bye bye. Stay safe, everyone. So long. Bye-bye.